Grandpa's name is Rafael Noach Yosef. We're going to find his cover soon. We're just figuring out where he is. We went to block one and now we're making a right on block one. Why is there stones on some of them? Because that shows the name of the person who was buried there. Otherwise, we wouldn't know who was buried there. No, but why was there oh, stones on no, stones? Because some people do bigger things so that's with the name and some people do smaller things. Left to block 72. Yeah. Past the peelers. Sealers, rather. Sealers. Why is there little stones on top of them? Ah, very good question, Shema. When you visit someone's kever, it's a sign to show that you visited them and you're thinking of them. So you put a little stone there to show that you've been there. Because what's good about stones? They last forever, right? So that way, all the times that we visit someone will be remembered on top of the stone so everyone will know that that person's very loved. Mm. Is um, Grandpa named after anybody? Very good question, I don't know. Yeah, Grandpa, Grandpa, I'm sure he was named after somebody else. But when he was born, they called him Noach Yosef. And then they added the name Raphael when he was very, very sick. <clears throat> the Lubavitcher Rebbe six. said they should name him, they should uh, add the name Raphael. <clears throat> they added the name Raphael. And Hashem healed him. Hashem made it all better. Where it's, it's a big, big cemetery. And right? also, they made the stuff out of stones. <clears throat> um, made out of stones. Also, last stones last forever, so they made um, the things with the names on them out of stone. <laughs> and some are in Hebrew, um, because of um. So people who come from Israel. Um, so it looks like we're in block. Fifty-three. Fifty-three. Is that it? Between fifty-one and. Where's Grandpa's? Where's Grandpa's? Name? We're gonna go to it. I think it's block 53 at the end here. Yep. Rafael Noach Yosef Daniel. There it is. There's Noah Daniel in English. 